Nope. They're bored. They're bored. Yeah. I started surveying all the kids that come into my program. I work with, uh, work with about 180 different kids uh, a year that come through my program. And a majority of them, why do you smoke weed? Eh, I'm bored. Nothing else to do. Now, the problem is, when you're bored, it's actually uh, an emotion that you have to learn how to deal with before you can go on to the next emotion. When we're babies born, there's only two things that is built into us. The fear of falling and the fear of being left alone as children. That's it. We're not afraid of the dark yet. We're not afraid of all these. Uh, falling and being left alone. And as we get older, there's these emotions that we have to deal with and overcome before we can move on to the next emotion. It's like when you build a building, it's got to be square because if it's not, you're going to be off. You guys in this room, whenever you're bored, what are things that you do? Just call them out. Eat. Eat. What else? Facebook. Facebook. What else? Shop. Shop. Good. What else? Okay. Yeah. What else? Read. TV. Workout. What else? Nap. Read. Nap. 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 Yeah. yeah, go out. Tax, good. Yeah, swim. Keep going. Book. Knit. Good. Bowling. Wash the car. Walk the dog. Clean. Okay. Now, here's the thing. Boredom is built into us so we can learn all of this stuff. What's important, what you need to learn to overcome when you're bored is you need to learn what is called self-soothing. How do I take care of myself without all this other stimulation that's coming in? It's important because it teaches you how to put yourself to sleep. It teaches you how to deal with people. It gives your brain an opportunity to kind of shut off and to relax for a moment and recharge. Now, let's just take one of these. I think somebody said shopping. When you go shopping, what are some things you can learn? People skills. People skills, good. What else? Bargain, Bargain. good. Budgeting. Budgeting, money management, right? time management, interaction, all that kind of stuff. Now, off of these, you could just learn all these different things. So there is a million things that you can learn from boredom and that you have to learn from boredom in order to get the next emotion right. What happens with kids that smoke weed, what they learn when they're bored is to smoke weed. So it doesn't seem like a big problem when they're young, but when they get older, they have trouble putting themselves to sleep. They can't deal with boredom very well. There always has to be this constant stimulation going in. Another thing that happens, what John Daly is, was talking about, is because they don't get boredom right, they have a tendency to need things escalated at a higher level. I don't know if you've ever seen families uh, where marijuana is like the predominant thing. There seems to be a lot of drama sometimes in these families. And it's the way that the brain functions because it doesn't know how to deal with stopping and slowing down.